Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to build a very easy range base for your Minecraft world or SMP. So as you can see we are here right next to a little abandoned village in uh, the Savari biome. This is the best biome to be able to build your ranger station. Now first we want to get We'll just jump right into this so we'll just get some cobblestone right away and we'll start by building the base and you want to build five blocks across so while you do this you might want to just consider maybe even making a stable base for your ranger station next you want to build another six blocks across sorry because i actually meant six now once you've done this what you're going to want to do is you're going to build well now five blocks over but you've already got this little one block here so it's probably only four so now once you've got the basic shape you can extend this back wall out to as long as you like i'm going to take this out 10 blocks Okay, so as you can see, we've got our main ranger bay is a kind of shape. So now we're going to kind of just bring this around sort of again. And as we bring this along, we'll just be able to get into the basic shape. So as you can see, now we're in the basic kind of shape um, of our sort of ranger base. Next, you want to get a log, any kind of log you like but for this I am going to simply be using an oak log as this for me is kind of my favorite one now you're gonna want to build up three blocks on about every post Now, as you can see, we've added our post. Next thing we want to do is, if you've got oak, oak trunks, then you're going to want to get oak wood planks. Now, what you're going to do is, you're going to want to place these as your roof. But this is simply not going to be our roof. This is simply going to be our. This is simply going to be our second store story for our ranger base now our ranger base is going to be actually quite simple and just in case you didn't know i'm going to be making more of these building tutorials and hey maybe one day i'll be put in your recommended and you know you'll see this video and you'll think wow he's a great youtuber let's subscribe now once you've got this basic shape what you're going to want to do next is you're going to come over here and you're wanna gonna take away six blocks. As this is going to be your basic shape for your staircase, or maybe five, maybe four, however long I think it is. Maybe five just to be safe. Now once you've done this, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're going to start build start by building an overhang. Now, this overhang is actually going to be quite a simple one and for this i think you actually need a special kind of wood block here one of these one of these oak wood kind of blocks so you're going to want to place this then you're going to want to plant these across now try to make this look as neat as possible so it kind of just blends in sort of now, as you're doing this, you're going to want to be starting to think, hey, are there anything, are, are there any good designs we could build for our ranger station? I'm only going to be showing you how to build, build uh, the things such as the, such as the outside of the ranger base, and then I'm sure you can fill up the inside. This also works as a great survival house. Now, once you've done this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go over and build another three blocks up. Now, once you've built another three blocks up, now this is where we start to get into a bit more complex sort of masterpiece. 
So you've started to build the e blocks up. This is going to be basically the shape of our points and courtesies of walls. So as you can see, we've got our walls over here. Now here it gets very interesting with short sort of shape and diameter. You want to start adding in your windows and walls. Again, I am only showing you what I am building as for I want you guys to use your imagination and build your own sort of kind of windows and walls. But I suggest large walls and large windows create a sort of better landscape. So of course, as you can see, you want these windows on sort of these little off bits. Oh, I forgot to put another oak log stick up here. So while again, while you're doing this, I want you to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos. I haven't uploaded a video for the past four months now, so I'm going to hopefully start to be getting into the mood to upload maybe just a bit more. Uh, a lot more, actually, because, you know, I want to be able to upload more tutorials and videos be able to help my friends. If you subscribe to my cha channel, you've also got another friend on your hand, me. Alright, so this is what it sh should sort of look like from the front, and the back walls really, I don't suggest what you do. Personally, I think for the back walls, you should just kind of go blank, or maybe you could put maybe your own kind of big, long windows, and that would actually th be pretty good. So I'm going to add it to my sort of diorama, then maybe I'll add some flowers or a branch or two. One, my dream is to become a famous Minecraft and gaming YouTuber, so if you guys have any good ideas for building tips or anything like that, please suggest them. So as you can see, we have built um, the outside of our ranger station. Now, after we've done this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill it in. I think we should use white glass for this. As for the white glass, sort of gives it a more tinted sort of look. Now, once you've added the window color in for these top windows, we are going to begin work on the bottom layer, which is down here. Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't forget to do that one. So, for this, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to be leaving a space for a door right here. So this here is going to be a door. You can add steps or whatever your kind of strategy is for getting into doors. So as you can see, just build again your windows and your walls and just place them through. I'm not going to bore you with details or anything like that. Maybe just pause the video if you need some help after you've seen the steps. Okay, so now we have got our sort of layering for this. Now, now that we've got all this, we're going to add in the windows again. Oh, when that glass smashed, it scared me. You know... Glass panes sort of add actually a lot of effect um, when I so when I try to use them and incorporate them into my builds, 
it does a quite big favor. So now that we've got this, we're going to add just basically kind of whatever kind of sort of block you want to add, whether it's stone or cobblestone or anything kind of like that. And then once you, like, you just want to fill in sort of this top layer. You kind of just want to fill in this top layer. And once you've done this, this is actually great for people who are building in survival mode because it gives a sort of, I don't know, sort of like an easier kind of way because this is going to be what we place our stairs on. So, yeah. You can fill this up with anything. Like, maybe if you're in survival and you're building the ranger station, you could build maybe like dirt if you want to be saving your cobblestone or materials for something else. Alright, so we're nearly finished here. As you can see, we've got this all finished. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go and we're going to add our stairs for the wood. Now, uh, another thing about these stairs is that it gets a little bit complicated when building the stairs, especially when you go up into these sort of areas because there is actually a kind of effect I want you guys to know about so what you want to do is you want to kind of add out one block when you're building these sort of thing things so so you kind of want to add out one block like you build that and then you build another one and then it goes two out this one only goes out one and it kind of adds like a, uh, I don't know, for me it kind of adds like a cozy sort of feel. It kind of adds a, uh, the overhang as a bigger sort of enhancement. But for some people, some people prefer it, some people don't. But, you know, if you prefer it, you could just do it with no oak wood at all. Yeah, you could just do it with no oak wood at all, which actually for me, I prefer no, no, no oak wood at all of that, of that actually. Oh, I've just realised something. I've made an error with my build. So, oh nope, I haven't made an error with my build, have I? No, no I haven't. I must have accidentally placed the blocks in the wrong order in the side. Never mind, so don't do that, but what you want to do is you actually just kind of want to create a one block overhang instead of that three block overhang, because if you do a three block overhang, then I, I don't know, for me it just, it looks kind of weird, but it also kind of looks cozy. I think I've seen a couple of pro builders do it before, so, but yeah, just in case you want to do that, you're always welcome to. I don't criticise builds. So, but as, we, as we go along, we're just going to add this. You can add your cobblestone wood stuff. I think I'm just going to add it there because, you know, it's kind of cool. Now, again, about the biome. Um, this is sort of the best biome to do it in because with this biome, you sort of add a sort of charm. And it's like with ranger stations, it's like... Well, this kind of makes it good for, like, zoologist kind of areas. Um, I actually got this from a seed. This world here that I've generated with the abandoned village is actually a seed. So, if you want to go and find that seed, I think it's available all on maybe only mobile. I don't know. I don't play a lot of Minecraft on other consoles. Um, but... I think it might be out on other things such as PlayStation and Xbox on the newer versions of Minecraft. But again, this is just a seed, and seeds for a lot of people aren't very usual now. And now a lot of people are getting very angry and confused with seeds because not a lot of people can generate their own seeds. So again, I just kind of just wanted to add in this biome because I thought. Well, I once read that and saw that 
that zoos and ranger stations do actually kind of make a good act do actually kind of make a good sort of they look good in like sort of these kind of areas so next you want to get a slab slab or yeah you want to get a slab of whatever you're building with and kind of just fill this in with your blocks and once you've done that you have kind of got your roof for your ranger station now this is actually the last step to your ranger station and voila your ranger station is complete to me it actually kind of makes a very good house as well but if you guys ever want to use this to kind of build in your smps or anything like that i entirely recommend it so remember smash a like and be sure to subscribe and you know if you need want any more building tips or building ideas feel free free to come to the cha channel and uh again i'm not gonna leave you with any good idea tips because i'm not very good at those but you know you'll actually need quite a bit of lighting to fill this place up because it gets a bit dark but anyway i hope you had a good time watching this video see ya